like to ask uh, Reverend Wayne Cole if he would uh, open the whole proceedings with a prayer. Wayne. Let us bow for a moment. Gracious and loving God, you are our God in times of war, in times of conflict, and in times of peace. We thank you for the gift of memory and for all that has been betrayed upon us through generations of those who have given their lives and their efforts in our country for peace and around the world. We offer you this momentum today as we have placed on the wall here. We thank you for the artist. We thank you for those who, who birthed at this idea and those who brought it forward today that we might truly honor those who have gone before us and who have paid supreme sacrifice and given their years of service. We dedicate this to you now, the painting, and all that we think, all that we say, and all that we do today in their memory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we ask it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Gold. On behalf, my name is Dave Moyeri, and I'm the treasurer of the uh, war committee itself. And on behalf of our chairperson, Lynn Priddle, and the members of our committee, I welcome you each and every one here today. A special welcome uh, has to go to uh, Shannon Duff. She's representing Ken McDonald. Ken is on his way back to Ottawa and couldn't make it, but uh, Shannon has a, a few words. Very few, she tells me. <laughs> and she will relay to us uh, after the fact when, when I give you a moment, okay? Um, Steve Crocker is no stranger to fresh water. I think he's probably eaten more of our best meals here than he's ever had on the road. So, Steve, <laughs> well, welcome back. <laughs> and, and we look forward to a continued long uh, encounter with you as we, as we go through things. And especially in your new position. You know, we'll be knocking, don't worry about it. <laughs> Throw up a job. Uh, any endeavor by a, a town that's sort of in between other bigger towns, we don't, I won't say we don't exist, but we, we owe a lot to Victoria and Simon Cove and Carboneer. And uh, we're very pleased to have the mayor of Carboneer, Frank Butt. Frank, welcome. Uh, Jim Layden is representing Victoria. Jim, thank you very much. And uh, Cavell Reynolds is mayor of Salmon Cole. And uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming up for our day today. We really do appreciate it. Um, the Freshwater Men's Group, you know who you are. You're here scattered among the people and scattered among everything that goes on in Freshwater. You're part of the committee, and you're part of the LSD, and you're part of the men's group, and uh, we treasure each and every one of you. The United Church Women's Group, uh, you've been selflessly working in behind there, selling stuff for us at different uh, venues and different uh, entertainments that we have here, the coffee house and everything else. So you are very special in our hearts, and we're, we're glad you're here. And we have other special people who remain anonymous and work behind the scenes for us to get us going, get this kick started. And uh, even though you know you don't want your name mentioned, we appreciate everything that you do. A word, uh, last week CBC came out and they did, uh, let me have a couple of hours, interviewed the artist, interviewed uh, Dennis uh, Green who, who donated the stretcher that you'll see shortly. Um, they will be airing it, they told me, on 11th of November. So if I find out the time, I will definitely be letting you know. But um, they were here and uh, the videographer was here and very impressed and the whole idea. So what is this idea that we have? Well, it started way back when, long before personally I came to Freshwater. But when I did come here, I heard, you know, say that we really need a war memorial. Now, why does the community need a war memorial? We've got one in Victoria, we've got one in Salmon Cove. Carboneer, people have been going there for years, okay? But we see this, the committee sees this as not so much the repatriation of photographs from Carboneer, okay?
okay? But we're bringing our people home, and that's what this is all about. It's a place where you can come when we're having entertainment, and you can look at the, memory, at the wall of, of, of honor or the memorial wall. We will have a, a, a proper name on it. But any community that fails to honor those who serve the country is really doing a disservice to themselves and everybody else. Okay? So there was enough people in fresh water who said, now is the time. We need the memories of those men and women brought to the forefront so that we see them when we come in this hall. When we see them when we walk around this community. This is one of the, I call it the tripod of memorial. Is this painting, the wall, and the cemetery. And we're in negotiations for land, and we're looking at different aspects of it, okay? But this is the day, all that is to come. This is the day that we, we celebrate this painting. It marks a, a historic moment, I think, for fresh water. We celebrate the beginning of our wall, and we will have a cemetery in fresh water, and deservedly so. Right? So, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So, you know, it's not meant to be a long, drawn-out affair, but um, if Dennis and is Susan here as well, and uh, now Dennis Green, uh, I'll give you the background, but Dennis, some years ago he was in Nova Scotia, and just as he said, rooting around, and he saw a stretcher, an old World War II stretcher, stuck up by a tree at a grad sale, asked the missus how much she wanted for it. She said ten dollars, he said sold. <laughs> Bought it home, didn't know what he was going to do with it. He was going to get a moose scene or a hunting scene painted on it, but then Tracy Oates changed his mind just like that. She said, no way. She said, I'd be happy to paint something on it for you, but it will be a World War scene or a World War scene or a war scene and that where she took it hung it up in his loft and spent a better part of a year working on it over time and COVID and everything else and so uh, that's one part of it then the memorial wall well let's do that that's something we can do right now we don't need a lot of capital but and just the interest and then we decide on the center tap. Okay? So, Dennis and Susan donated this stretcher, and Dennis built the display box, the protective box, right? And it's really strong glass, so you won't put your head through it. Safety glass, so it's passing between us. That's right. And uh, Tracy Oates is the artist. You guys, you come forward, please. And to say that we're, we're proud of this painting uh, would be an understatement. So I guess without further ado, let's see what's behind the flag. safety for their precious burdens. The work done by stretcher bearers during World War I and the relationship they had with doctors at the next level of care can still be seen today. Medics and hospital corpsmen communicate with each other on best practices using combat medicine. Moreover, stories of the medic's strong desire to put themselves in harm's way so that others may live can still be heard from those who were saved by these practitioners of battlefield medicine. 
And as a veteran of the Canadian forces and an Afghanistan veteran, I can tell you firsthand that they may not be stretcher bearers, but the medics in the field learn from way back then to now the lessons of how to look after the injured. I've been there, seen it. On this side, the stretcher. The stretcher used as a canvas for this painting dates back to World War II. Similar stretchers were used during the Great War, 1914-1918. It was acquired from a World War II veteran by Dennis and Susan Green. It is currently on loan to the Freshwater War Memorial Committee from Dennis and Susan. Dennis built the display case, which so beautifully highlights and protects this wonderful piece of art. The artist, Tracy Oates, a resident of Carbonier, spent countless hours during the summer and winter of 2021 completing her painting using old photographs as her guides. Her attention to detail and love of her art bring new life to this stretcher and recognition to the battlefield heroes who used it to save lives, lest we forget. And please feel free to have a closer look, as, as you will. Um, I'm, I'm deeply moved by your generosity and Tracy for your work and painting this. This will hang in this hall for a long time. And anyone now who comes in here will be able to see that fresh water honors both those who served years ago in all wars and all conflicts, but it also honors those who have served recently, who are retired now in this community. And those pictures will be on our wall as well. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I know it's a, a busy time for everybody. And uh, unfortunately, COVID <laughs> dictates that we can't even offer you our usual hospitality. But come back and see us again sometime. And we'll show you what freshwater <laughs> hospitality is all about. Uh, before we jam up here, uh, it's important that we recognize different people. And Shannon, I know you a few words, if you would, from Ken. Sure. Right? Please. No problem. Um, as you mentioned, Dave, Ken is on, or if he's not on the plane right now, heading to Ottawa very soon. Uh, I know he would be very excited to be here to see this. Tracy, you've done an amazing job. I have uh, two brothers who were in the military, and one in Afghanistan, like you, he's retired now, but I know that he would be very, very impressed by that. It's amazing. Thank you for inviting Ken, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Steve, if you would, a few words, please, as our member. <clears throat> Uh, thanks, Dave, and thanks for the invitation this afternoon. Uh, it's really important as you sit back and think about what Freshwater is doing here with the War Memorial and, and the Remembrance. And whether it's a, a, a War Memorial or a piece of beautiful art like this here in Freshwater or the Funnel Caribou in Turkey uh, or the, national, the other National War Memorial in Canada, which is in St. John's, and we're going to have a commemoration in uh, 2024, around the 100th anniversary of that war memorial. I'm very privileged to actually be leading that for the province right now and leading the, the efforts in Turkey right now in that war memorial. But it's so important. And this coming week of remembrance, uh, Remembrance Day has become a lot more than one day, November the 11th, which is so, so important. But uh, these activities and, and, and the work that goes on to remember our uh, people who served, continue to serve. Uh, in many conflicts around the world. So, congratulations on this next step in your journey to that uh, war memorial that we uh, all hope to see very soon here in, in Freshwater. And uh, thank you for the invitation to be here this afternoon. <clears throat> okay, well, that's, that's the formal side of things. Uh, I know you've had a chance to chat amongst yourselves. Um, please feel free to peruse the, uh, the painting itself, and, uh, and I think that uh, in close-up inspection, you'll be just as impressed as we are. Tracy, Dennis, Susan.
Thank you very much. What you've done for this community today, I think, will be remembered for a long time to come. And uh, I, I, I think it's appropriate that we hear a little bit from, I know Dennis said, don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that your feelings, and, and you can keep it as brief as you like, I'll take it back. But give us your feelings when, you know, how, I know what you said to CBC. So he seemed to say the same thing again. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I, I, I get choked up over it. Because it's a beautiful piece of art. Um, before Tracy painted this, just take, uh, just take something in mind. Just with stain. Stains all over this everywhere. So that hole just didn't come here. That was there by. Some people think it might have been a bullet or it might have been a bayonet or but that fabric is top. It wasn't just a bell went through with a ring like that. And uh, you look at the expression on their faces and you can see what they, they've been through and what they were going through and everything in that fight. Like Tracy Dunn. There's no words to say what she done with it. And uh, me and my wife uh, were very honored, very honored to have that displayed here. First of all. Yeah, it's it's the go one and, and I was going around I, well we didn't know Scotia for twelve years. And first when I went up here I was going around collecting jugs and basins and old war stuff and whatever I get me hands on and everything that right? And we went to uh, Windward Valley and this old farmhouse was there and uh, this old lady was there selling stuff. Thing in it. And as, as uh, Dave mentioned, the stretcher was leaned up against a tree, and I asked her about the stretcher and that. And, uh, she said her husband bought it home for World War II. Wow. Yeah, well, he, he was after passing at the time. And I said, Well, I said, how much longer? She said, 10 bucks. I grabbed it. I said, No, good thing now, I'll take it home. One of these days, I'll open it up, get somebody to paint the scenery of the hills, and moose, and the pond, and where I was in the, in the hunting and everything. And then I <clears throat> mentioned to Tracy one day, and she said, not happy. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, do with, it, do with it as you want. And it breaks me heart with that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll let you, if I wish, she had a rich inspiration no, coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you wish us the best, Tracy, you're here among friends. There's nothing I can say after that. <laughs> But that's 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 point. I, I just hope everybody can come and look at it and see what it is and what it depicts. And you know, we're all getting over. The younger generation don't know much about any of this. So it can something to reflect back and see where their grandfathers, their great grandfathers, their great great grandfathers, what they went through to have that. You know, now these days it's just push a button. So we say. Yeah. But this this was real. This is this is real. So to have it displayed here in fresh water, it's an honor to have it here. And to have Tracy famous is a real honor again. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you look at it and reflect back on what it is. And that I've got brothers in the military now, he's after being in seven different conflicts. So you know. Well, that's, that's it for me. If you got any questions or anything, I can ask them if I can. But like I say, it kills me. If Tracy is not going to speak. And it looks like, we're, well, we might get a word out. The only thing I can say is it's been the biggest honor I've ever had to be asked to do it. And I've never, I mean, I just can't even think of what, you know, I get tough with stuff like that because I get too emotional. But for Dennis to have asked me to do it, and the people who have encouraged me along the way, when there's times I felt like I was way over my head, it's like I can't be grateful enough to any of them. So it's been my honor. Probably the most proudest piece I've ever done, but it's so humble at the same time to be able to do it. But one thing she always said, you were going down to do what? <laughs> Hang up with your boys. <laughs> <laughs> read so much and you learn so much together and it's like, you know, they become more than just black and white images after a while. They become real people to you because you grow up through school and you learn, you see in the history books and it's black and white images, but it doesn't really sink in until you start bringing them to life and then it's like, 
you know, these were real boys, and that's what they were, they're just boys. Come on, boys. <laughs> Okay, thank you everybody. Uh, thank you very much for coming to see this this afternoon, be part of it. And, um, and we'll see you around. Uh, we'll see you around the coffee house, we'll see you around town. And uh, those who are visiting, I know we have some visitors from St. John's and that. Please, uh, say hello to everybody and, uh, and get to know them because we're just your friends and neighbors, that's all. All right, thank you very much everybody and uh, please, please, please.